People. Um, this guy is a very talented and funny comedian. We love to have him stop by and make y'all laugh. This is Rich Scheitner. <laughs> I'm married. That's a relationship. Definitely. You have arguments. I don't care how much you love each other. You're going to have arguments. You know that. The key is for guys not to get into arguments because women are better at arguing than we are. Women have far more advanced argument technology than guys do. See, most times I do something that makes my wife angry. She let me know right away what it is. We can get right to it. But sometimes she gets that quiet anger going. You know what I mean? That quiet anger. You don't really notice it at first. And then it builds and builds and builds until it has the power to suck all the noise out of the room you're sitting in. <laughs> All of a sudden, you can't hear the television, you can't hear the stereo, all you can hear is her breathing next to you. And what this does, it sets you up to ask the question. You know what the question is, you know what the answer to the question is before you ask the question, you've got to ask it anyway. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Which means you've got to ask the question again. It's like you're digging your own grave. What's wrong, babe? And at this point, if she's really angry at you, she can set the hook even deeper. Because you keep asking what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong, eventually she'll go, you know what you did. Now the guy's really nailed to the wall. Because he's got at least 30 things in his head she hasn't even thought about yet. He's got to start flipping through that mental Rolodex at warp speed. Oh, God, what did I do wrong? Please let me be right on the first try. I don't need more heat at this point. You know, sometimes you finish your argument, then you sit around and talk to each other to try to talk about what just happened during the argument. See, we guys should never get involved in this post-game analysis thing. Because men never remember anything happened during the argument. The whole thing's a blur to a man. Women seem to remember every detail of the argument. That's why the guy's a loser as soon as he says, well, look, babe, I didn't start this one. Oh, yes, you did. You walked over there and said that. Then you turned around and said that. Then you sat down and said that. She's got charts. She's got figures. Huh. She's got a stenographer comes out of the closet. She's right. That's what you said. She's right. The only thing the guy do is go into a sorry dance. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. <laughs> and you want to work it out. You want to, men and women, you want to work it out. You don't want to go to bed angry. I don't know how many times people have given me that kind of advice. Never go to bed angry. That's the key to a relationship. But it doesn't always work out in real life. You ever have one of those deals? You're both so angry at each other. The man and woman, you both decide to go to bed, but give each other the silent treatment. So what you do is you take up defensive positions at each edge of the bed. <laughs> you got that big DMZ no man's land in between you there. <laughs> And you dare not enter it either, you know. Oh, you may think about it sometime during the night, you know. Well, if I just kind of scoot over there and accidentally touch her, she'll touch me back and we'll make up. Get back here, sir. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Can I have a little bit of blanket? A little blanket? It's all the blanket I need. Thank you very much. That's all. It's all the blanket I deserve. Oop, you're right. I don't deserve that much. You're right about that. A little bit of chill might set my thinking right. You're right about that, you know. Because whenever that happens, I try to go to sleep. I just end up staring at clock radio all night long. 158, toss, toss, turn, turn. 159, toss, toss, turn, turn. 201, who must have dozed off for a minute there? <laughs> See, because I sleep next to the clock radio, that's my job. One of you, the man and woman, has to sleep next to the clock radio. So I look back, begin our relationship, I can see how my wife sucker me into that job. She played on my male ego. Oh, I don't think I could ever figure out how to work one of those. All right, back up here. I'll show you how to do it. Very dangerous piece of equipment. You're right about that. Don't look at it directly. Put those goggles on I got for you over there. Because I'll admit, like, we guys sometimes have a frail ego. I'll admit that sometimes. Guys don't like to admit being jealous. We guys never like to admit being jealous. Sometimes just kind of burst out of you, though, right, men? Especially if a woman's going wild about some guy, a movie star, whatever. Oh, I just love Mel Gibson. I just love everything about Mel Gibson. He's, he's gay. And you know women love Mel Gibson You know they love it My wife loves Mel Gibson You know they love his butt You know they love his butt Oh, you know that Because every Mel Gibson movie is a butt scene Every Mel I don't care which one It's Lethal Weapon All right, put your hands up Put them up, let's go Come on, come on Come on Let's go Look, I enjoy the guys' movies. Won't they cut us a break, you know? Won't they just cut us a break so we don't have to watch this 40-foot-tall hairy butt up on the screen every time? And won't they have an entire movie, nothing but Mel Gibson's butt, all right? An hour and a half long, Mel's butt the movie. <laughs> It'll be great. The men can drop the women off. They go in the movie theater, enjoy the movie. The guys go wait in the cars outside. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get it good after this movie, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's right, Mel, you set them up. I'll knock them down, pal. <laughs>
Good, man, you got work coming up. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good. Tell them about that. Uh, we're Rooster Tees up in Sunnyville, California. That's Monday night. That's one night only. And then all next week after that, the Phoenix uh, Improvisation. Yeah. yeah. They got improvs everywhere now. Yep, right. They're going to have, like, drive through windows, make them, like, fast food, you know? Just pull up, <laughs> jokes to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> you talked about Mel Gibson. Uh, you watch a lot of movies? You just get to see a lot of movies? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, I saw, like, a... Uh, I get, I'm, like, slow behind getting them, you know. I just saw, I saw uh, Edward Scissorhands. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see that one? Did you like that? I missed that. No, it, really, it worked out a lot of different things. Like, before it was Edward Scissorhands, it was Edward Cuisinart butt. You know, <laughs> just a lot of... I think I go with a butt theme. I just... <laughs> I knew that was out there. I knew I was going, where's the rim shot? Point. Right. But, uh, no, I saw, you know, it's all Silence of Lamb. Did you see that one? Not yet. Do, do you see I that one? It's great, though. Great movie. Yeah. I don't care. Do not take... Do not go with a woman. Do not go with a woman to see that movie. And you guys know, I mean, my wife and I love each other, get along great. Mm -hmm. We're coming out of that movie. She goes, I hate men, hate all men. I go, hey, I wanted the guy to get caught. I was rooting for him to get caught. Yeah. You know, the guy's, you know, he's, he has this thing against women. He's a real psychopath. And, mm. and you wonder, man, you go, like, how does a guy like that happen? You know, like, you know what I mean? He's not born in a vacuum. How does this guy happen? Mm. And I swear, this is like, I, I wish I was making this up, man. But we went from the movie theater. We go to do a little shopping on the way home. We stop right in... You know, Gooch's, I don't know if you know the place over in the valley, right? Yeah. Supposed to be like, you know, far out, healthy people, you know, all that. This woman's dragging her kid around, right? She goes, you quit that whining or I'll skin you. My wife and I look at each other and go, whoa. <laughs> you know, Tag this kid. Watch this kid, man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Manson in development. Watch this boy, you know. Yeah, you know. Yes. Um, soon you'll be able to fly to your gigs yourself. <laughs> or aren't you learning to be a pilot or something? <laughs> you know, I always say that, right? Uh -huh. I go, I'm going to learn to be a pilot and all, but... You know, then I realized, like, you know, it's like one thing with a car. You know, I don't check my car before I get in it, you know, and drive yeah. off. You, you know, go check no, the tires. Not at all. No, I mean, with a plane, man, you better check it. I'm not, I'm too lazy, you know what I mean? Yeah. I would try to depend upon some mechanic, like, to have it okay for me to fly, right? Then the thing would crash, and I'd be like, there was like a donut stuck on like a gas line or something like that. <laughs> you know? So I go, I better, like, pass on. I might think about learning, man, but, uh, I mean, I hate to fly. I mean, everybody hates to fly. Yeah, I'm know? scared of flying. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't think about it when you're, everything's going okay, right? I mean, when you're up there and you're flying, you're just cruising, you're just like, you know, hey, this is, uh, why shouldn't we be here? This is okay. You know, I'll have another, you know, Diet Coke, and everything's cool, right? Yeah. But then we hit this really bad turbulence, up, really bad, you know? Every, ones where the flight attendants run for their seats, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? They just drop magazines and run, then you know it's bad, right? So we hit this thing, and, like, and all of a sudden you start looking, going, hey, we shouldn't be up here. You know what I mean? Yeah. You stop looking out like, you start looking for places on the ground, maybe you can land, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell the pilot I saw a cow pasture back there. <laughs> well, we hit this, like, we're coming back into L.A. from San Francisco, and we hit this one, we're coming back through a storm, you know? And lightning was flashing. I mean, you, we're coming down through the storm, everything is shaking, right? Yeah. I mean, where you're, like, talking silly. Like, the woman in the back of me is, like, trying to pick out, is that 101 down there? And you're like, yeah, oh, I think that's one. I used to live over there, you know? What I mean? Like, just out of your mind, right? The guy next to me is doing a crossword puzzle, never looks up. You know, I'm like, well, this guy's too cool for words. Like, yeah. I'm sweating, and we're all talking his nonsense. And he's, I thought maybe he'd, like, look over one time and go, like, what's the seven-letter word for death? Airplane! You know? <laughs> Last time you were here, you said there was a baby on the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, we had the baby. Uh -huh. We have a baby girl, Savannah. And, uh, ah. She'll be like, yeah. Thank you. That's a pretty name. Yeah. You need me. Yeah. Yeah. Was that your idea? Uh, no, a friend of my wife's actually suggested it, and uh, we were, like, you know, groping around looking for a name. If it was a boy, I was going to name it Sid, and that was that. Yeah. You know, but, but for a girl's name, uh, we didn't have one, and so she's Savannah, and that was great. You know? How do you like being a dad? Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, you know, I mean, she's, she hasn't got the point where she looks at me like a jerk yet. You know, I think I got like 15 <laughs> years for that, right? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? For they go for like, daddy's the greatest, like, what an idiot, you know? <laughs> I haven't hit that. But uh, people don't know, you know, if you, you don't have any, any babies, you know, and you can't expect anybody to know. You yeah. know, I mean, I love this baby of mine more than anything. But a friend of mine was over, he's holding my daughter, he says, you know, he says, what my uh, wife and I are going to do, we're going to get a puppy first. If we do okay raising a puppy, then we'll move up and get a baby. I was like...